I'm just configuring in the demo on one of the computer where already we have uh, SharePoint configured with HTTP. I'm configuring HTTPS. So for that, I just downloaded this particular uh, form. It's open source license kind of. It's open SSL. Uh, so here I ins downloaded. I am in I installed this particular and under C drive it's been installed and I'm just using this command to just create the local certificates. So it expects on the pass phrase. I'm just giving one two three four. I'm just repeating. What is the company name? I'm just ignoring. State ignoring. Locality ignoring. Org name ignoring. Common name I'm giving. Certificate one. Address I'm just ignoring. And then just the, in the first step actually we are creating the key, and in the second step we are creating the uh, what is that uh, certificate. So I'm just re-entering the whatever passphrase we entered earlier, and then we need to export it. Enter the export password. I'm giving one two three four five. I'm just re-entering. Certificate has been created. So just to verify, uh, it's been C program files open SSL under bin. It's created here. The first one is key. Second one is the certificate. So just like that, I will just create two more. Uh, certificates for my purpose just quickly making it up just giving the same thing certificate 2 just give this making it quickly Second one is done. I'm just putting third one. Just re entering. Oh, sorry. Actually, I should have pressed proper password. Wait, passphrase is one, two, three, four. Country name, no. State no, local no, our name no, this no, common name, certificate three, email address. One, two, three, four, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all three certificates has been created. So now to add this to the computer license, we have to run this Microsoft Management Console. So here, here the reason is whatever the certificate we have added, it has to be added to the computer server level. If it is within the computer network, in the client network, for example, so wherever they are referring, they can do the same thing. Just a second. Yeah, here it's a certificate where we are doing this and I'm doing, oh sorry, not this new. Once again, I think I pressed something wrong. I'll just repress. I should make it run as administrator and then quickly yes. Yeah, do here, add remove snap in. So it means here there's something called certificates, add and so make it computer account and then local computer finish and say ok and then under certificates under personal and just to here you can see currently these are the only certificates so i'm just making it import from the local machine browse see program files Open SSL bin. Okay, it's here only, but the type is here. Yeah, file type is this one. We can't select multiple, so I'm just choosing one by one. First one I did. The password I had to give. Okay, here the main thing is it's an export password, not the key password. For every export, I had a given one, two, three, four, five. Just did it. Next, finish. It came here.
okay the similar way i've just added two more passwords it just uh, sorry not passwords uh, certificates next one two three four five finish finish if i add here it will be just in the personal level but we have to make it uh what i'm saying trusted root certificate yeah that is another step I just i'll show you that is here only here one two three four five i must have given something else yes 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 done 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 one two three done so just copy these things and just add it to trusted root certificates paste done it came so just now open the inet manager i mean ias manager so it is loading so the concept is whatever we are having already already the application is running in this adlib demo these particular sites this is with https so now the concept okay sharepoint 80 this is the one actually this adlib demo yeah let me make it quickly application management yeah this particular we have bindings here it is only sharepoint 80 port so i'm just trying to add https so let me choose the certificate so i'm just choosing certificate one i did this now what it is saying okay it is trying to say the 443 port is already using by someone else let me make it 32814 some different port i'm not sure i'm just giving it so you should be cautious on this i just did it, this okay and here manage web applications if i am going to see you can see there are two applications one is this sharepoint 80 the name just won't don't bother so it is running currently on this so that is what here this particular existing one okay now i added this particular second port 32814 so for that if i'm going to browse this now uh, here 32814 if i'm hitting here it says okay let me restart the server always do the restart if you some prefer some prefer this is reset in the command prompt do it whatever you feel the best here i did here just to be on safer side done 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 https i think i would have missed earlier yeah it says it is loaded so make it advanced proceed to demo hardly power user i dollar enberg it has been loaded so now the same sites yes whatever we have earlier the same thing is loaded now also same thing monitor list everything whatever we have yeah that is about how to configure http to https in the existing itself we just did nothing it is a two step activity adding the bindings and attaching the certificate that's it and just to make it clear in each and every sharepoint application it will be one sharepoint on premise main will be installed then there will be one central admin application and then one web, web service that is what you can see 
this is central admin this is where all the configuration and this web service is required for in between connectivity and then remaining all the web applications we can do web application one two three so under each web application we have sites that is what you can see here application management The loading text i'm sorry yeah here with these where i was telling these web applications this is a root uh, application one so under which we have called site collections so each website will have site collections okay so for example this particular one is having these site collections if i'm going to change it so currently yeah this is the 81 if i go to this is central admin yeah this is another one thank you